Hi, Cheryl Miller. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm so glad you joined me here live in Dallas, Texas, as I talk to a global audience. You know, the new year is coming up, and people are making those resolutions, and I want them to be able to keep them specially financial. How can you help us? Well, I think the first step is to make sure that you're setting your priorities. So we all have competing priorities, whether it's planning for retirement or putting a child through college. Um, or paying down debt. I mean, there's, there's all different sorts of priorities that we can have, so it's really important that you establish what's the most important goal for 2016. Okay. Once, well, people probably put all of those on the table, most people. That's right. That's right. You could. I mean, but, yeah, but I it's... Read through them and say what's important. And I, I love it how they do it on TV. This bucket is for this and this bucket is for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, you know, it, it's interesting because we, we survey our clients and um, clearly half of our respondents told us this year that they would save more for retirement and only a third of them actually met that goal. So um, although it may seem like we can do multiple things, I think it's important that we set and establish what's the most important thing, achieve that goal, uh, and then what we have you know, left over, so to speak, to, to fund other things, we set those priorities as well. That's so very true, and I love what you said, because they did a survey about multitasking. The brain doesn't multitask very well. That's right. I know that from my husband. He does not multitask. He does one single thing, and he's very successful. Yes, yes. So, we, so once we get our focus, okay, how do we laser in, and how do we keep that commitment? Because you know what happened to resolutions by January or mid-January or February. I know, I know. So it, it's really important that, um, you know, as, as you get to the new year, it's, it's great to reflect on uh, what you've done well, what you've accomplished, but then how you can do better. And so um, to make sure that you're, you're thinking about, um, you know, not only establishing that goal, but then holding yourself accountable. So I always advise that you work with an advisor, um, someone that can be your partner to hold you accountable if you can't do it for yourself. Okay, so how do we take that first step in saving or investing or, or moving forward? Yeah, so I think the first step is to establish the right account. Um, there are many different types of accounts out there, whether it be um, if, you're, if your goal is retirement, um, investing in your 401k through your employer, or a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA. Um, there are benefits to all of that, um, but you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of tax deferral and growth um, so that you can accomplish your goals ultimately. Okay, so once you start your goals, how do you track them? Well, you need to be tracking them uh, at least monthly. Um, make sure that you know where you stand, um, what you've established as your goal in your end state, how are you tracking to that progress. Um, and it's important that you also look at your investments and make sure that they're diversified um, so that they can withstand market downturns um, or as, you, as the market increases that you're continuing to take advantage of that. So it can be a very complicated subject and that's why um, no two people are the same and so every investment portfolio is unique to that individual based on their risk tolerance, their time horizon, um, and so it's, it's really important that you're using investment tools or working with an advisor. I want to take a break here and let my audience know that Sharon Miller is the Central Division Executive for Financial Center Sales and Merrill Edge at Bank of America. Sharon, excuse me, my next question is how does, the, how does uh, the interruption of the holiday, how does that intersect with our goals? Well, it does. Um, it's, it's difficult to keep a budget. Um, when you think, I, I'm a mom of, of, I've got two kids and my daughter um, has a list of 22 different things that she wants for Christmas. And so if I were to go out and buy all of those items, which um, you know, I would never do, but, but if I were, I would completely blow my budget um, and that would derail my 2016 planning. So it, it's really important that if you use credit cards, you do that wisely, you spend within your budget um, so that you don't get sidetracked when you get into 2016, um, when you're trying to to take advantage of either your retirement plan or education plan or paying down debt. Sharon, send us some place where we can find out, and this is something I'm finding more and more people don't know, including myself until I researched it. 
What's the difference between a Roth and a traditional IRA? Where can we go online and, and disseminate that information? You can go to MerrillEdge.com. It's a great resource, uh, whether you're just getting started in investing or you're a seasoned investor. Sharon Miller, you have been a great delight, and you have helped us. And please come back as we start this new year, because it's going to be a great year. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Happy holidays. Thank you. You too.